Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that there is some stuff a brewing over to the Love and Marriage Huntsville streets. Um, we know that they are currently filming their new season, but I just got some information that Maurice Scott has allegedly filed lawsuits against two bloggers. Now, a few months ago, Maurice did send out a warning um, on his Instagram page um, saying that there are some bloggers out there putting out false information. He gave them time to take it down or he was going to proceed and move forward. I guess that's what happened. So let's look at the video that he posted on his Instagram along with the message that he posted. And then um, I will come back with which bloggers um, allegedly have received paperwork and where we go from here. I've recently run across uh, a blogger who's been putting false information out there. And I wanted to make sure that no one is misled by this information. Uh, first of all, my name is Maurice Scott, Maurice Jefferson Scott, Sr. And um, if you're going to do research on a Maurice Scott, make sure that you're, you're researching the right person. I'm Maurice Jefferson Scott. Uh, I do not have a criminal history. Um, I've never been arrested. I don't have anything more than a citation or a traffic ticket. That's the most I have. Citations and or traffic tickets. That's the very most. Never been in handcuffs. My reputation is something that I'm very, very proud of. Um, and I'm going to defend it. The second thing is, I think that we really need to separate uh, some of this reality television from reality. Okay. And um, there's an issue that sometimes if we don't see it on reality television, then it's not real. However, I'm an active practicing lawyer. Um, so I'm not going to play about my law license. That's another thing that I'm very proud of. Took me a lot of hard work. Graduated valedictorian in my class and passed the bar first time with flying colors. So not only am I an active practicing lawyer, I have multiple cases. And it's not just in Alabama. I have cases that are co-counseled in other jurisdictions um, that states as well. OK, so just want to make sure that you guys understand I'm going to I'm going to protect uh, both of those. So this is one of the things that I want to encourage like bloggers to do. Do a little better research before you attach someone's name to a criminal history. It's very important that you do your homework. It's actually reckless and dangerous if you don't. Um, some of the allegations were <clears throat> extremely, extremely dangerous. Uh, attaching my person to that criminal enterprise puts not just me at danger because there may be other people that were involved that think that now I'm that target. So it's not just me that you might put in danger. You might also put my family in danger. So this is something that's very, very serious to me. Um, even further, uh, I normally don't get on social media and go back and forth with bloggers or try to correct narratives or whatever. But sometimes when, you know, we can't separate reality from reality television and lines that get crossed, then I'll actually step in and address this. Um, so in closing, I'm very, very proud of my reputation. Um, and I spoke to Carlos King earlier today. And you know what? Carlos said, maybe before you just actively just sue him, how about you give them an, op an opportunity to retract their statement? And I'm going to go even one further, all right? Because that's actually a good idea. Uh, being in this business for as long as Carlos has been in the business, you know, he's seen all kinds of, you know, stories and narratives and everything else. But um, I'm going to go one further and give you an opportunity to retract. And I want a public apology for those two uh, situations, anyone that's speaking negatively about those two situations. I'll give you uh, two days. Take the, the stuff down and I want a public apology be behind it because it's false information and you could have done a much better job and it was called into question many a times on your own post. It was called into question the accuracy of the information and you recklessly disregard that information. You also posted it multiple times and you shared the information as if it was true. What I will tell you is this. I'm very, very serious about this 
and you will find yourself on the opposite side of a lawsuit. And you'll know that not only am I an attorney, I'm a good one. Okay, so along with this video, he also posted the following message. It says, it's unfortunate that I have to make this post, but it's necessary. Content creators have a responsibility to make sure that they don't run afoul of the law when they post about people. There's a line where free speech stops and defamation starts, and a good blogger knows the difference. They should also know how to use the buzzwords like allegedly and in my opinion work as well because it can create unnecessary confusion and danger for their subjects. You don't have to like me, but it's unwise to run afoul of the law while doing so. Correct it or a fool and their money will soon depart. Maurice Jefferson Scott Esquire, and he put Esquire in capital letters, honey, he gonna let you know. And then he hashtagged all of the things and all of the people. So what I found out today is that allegedly blogger Black Titanic and I want to get her name right because I don't. Here for Hot Tea are the two bloggers that allegedly got uh, paperwork from Maurice Scott. Here for the Hot Tea went live to discuss the fact that she received a subpoena asking for very important information such as her legal name, address, email. She even said they asked about her bank accounts and banking information, which she was a little, you know, confused about why they needed her banking information. And I'm like, well, if you're being sued for defamation, he needs to know how much money you're making off of YouTube. And he needs to know what is, you know, what is a reasonable amount of money to ask for based on that, I'm assuming. I don't know. I didn't go to nobody's law school. But here's what I will say. Um, you can go over to eat. I know here for the hot tea did a live about it. So if you want more information, you know, you guys can go check her out. It is H-E-R-E, -E, the number four. H-O-T-T-E-A. You guys can go over there and hear from straight from her mouth. I did not see anything from Black Titanic as of yet. That doesn't mean she didn't post anything. I just didn't see it. Um, you guys may or may not know that Black Titanic was the blogger that showed up at Stormy's warehouse and where they sort of had an altercation and that sort of went viral. What I know about this situation, from my understanding, is that... Um, one of the bloggers, because I don't want to misspeak, one of the bloggers posted criminal information for a Maurice Scott. They were told that it was not Maurice Jefferson Scott by multiple people and multiple sources. They refused to take the information down. They insisted that they had the right person. They insisted that that information was accurate. So when Maurice posted this video and the date on that video, let me see if we can see what the date is. The date on that video is November the 27th of 2023. At that point in time, he was serving you a legal notice that that is not me. He gave you all of the information that you needed. He gave you his middle name. He told you what he has and has not um, been accused of. He said he's not even been in handcuffs. I don't know if you did not remove the information as you uh, as requested. And I don't know if you gave a public, a public apology or not. Um, anybody who follows my channel knows that I'm a firm believer and you apologize the same way in which you offended me. So if you posted information publicly on your channel that was, in, was inaccurate and you were told by the person themselves that it was inaccurate and was even given, told you, you know, look, look it up under this name. This is who I am. Um, and you refuse to remove that content and, you know, the, the public apology probably, you know, whatever. But if you refuse to remove the content at this point, I don't, you know, I guess you can only blame yourself. I don't know. Um, as you guys know, I do not follow the show closely anymore, but I thought I would post this information and let you know. Um, we do have a, a responsibility to um, make sure that the information that we are providing, if we're going to say it's factual, we do have a responsibility to make sure we have fact checked. Um, and if and when we are told that our information is correct, I think we also have a responsibility to make that public as well. I do not know if those things were done, but I feel like because Maurice Scott is an actual attorney that did pass the bar, I believe that he's gotten all of his T's crossed and his I's dotted before he filed any sort of paperwork. Um, and it sounds like he even called his boss, i.e. Carlos King, to run it by him before he moved further as well. 
I will agree with one thing. You don't have to like him, but don't let your dislike for Maurice and the things that you feel like Maurice has done to cloud your judgment and put you in a position that's going to get you in trouble. I say this to all of my content creators. Um, I, you know, I'm sorry. I guess I said it already. <laughs> With that being said, I'll keep you guys posted to the best of my ability. But if you want more, you know, probably probably more up to date information, go ahead over to Here for the Hot Tea and Black Titanic. I'm sure they'll share what's going on. And as I get information, I will pass it to you. Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comments. Peace.